Hi, New Life. What a blessing it is for me to be here today. I'm Miss Sandy, and for those of you that don't know me, I am the fifth and sixth grade Sunday school teacher. As much as I'm thankful that we continue to have Sunday school through Zoom, it is sure not the same as having those kiddos in front of me. I feel the same way about the church service. I know it's my faith that is getting me through this unique time. My hope and prayer is that you are all doing well during this time of social distancing and that it will end soon. So thankful God is in control. As we continue reading in the for in 1 Peter, today we are looking at the good news of Jesus. We are going to be reading 1 Peter 3, 18 through 20. For Christ also suffered once for sin, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. After being made alive, he went and made proclamation to the imprisoned spirits, to those who were disobedient long ago, when God waited patiently in the days of Noah, while the ark was being built. In it, only a few, eight in all, were saved through the water. Verse 18 should bring us several emotions from sadness and guilt that Jesus, the righteous one, who knew no sin, would take on the sin of all the unrighteous, which includes you and me, to peace and joy because of grace and mercy for the very same reason. Another way to put what he did is the just for the unjust, the innocent for the guilty. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. All so he could bring us to God. The time of separation ended at the cross, which was impossible without Jesus. Verse 18 reminds me of what Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 5, 21. God made him who had no sin to, to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Just reflecting on verse 18 would be a blessing to your day. The creator of the universe who loved the world so much that he sent his son to die for us so we could have a relationship with him. That is the good news of Jesus. As for verses 19 through 20, even the commentaries have many different ideas of the meaning of these verses. When and whom he made the proclamation. So I would like to just take a minute and reflect on the part of the verse that said, God waited patiently. The verse is referring to Genesis chapter 6, where the sons of God brought much evil into the world. The wickedness of man was so great on earth, all the imagination and intention of man was only evil. God regretted he had made man and it grieved his heart. So God had Noah build an ark. God waited patiently for years while the ark was being built for people to turn from evil. This makes me think of Psalm 103, verse 8. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. This is worth repeating. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. But God did reach his limit, and when he destroyed the earth with a flood, only eight people were left. Thankfully, because of what Jesus, the righteous one, did for us on the cross, the next time God has had enough will be the sound of the trumpet. Oh, what a glorious day that will be. I hope you have a wonderful day as you reflect on God's word. Bye, New Life.